Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be chatting about all of my horrible dating experiences. It's just gonna be a joy to go down memory lane with you guys. Um, no, but really I love telling these stories because they're hysterical and I think that we've all probably had a bad date or two. I've had about 20. I wrote down some of my faves, so I'm ready to go. And I'm just going to get to putting on my makeup and we'll chat and hang out together. If I forget to name a product, I will be sure to list everything that I put on my face in the description box below. I'm trying out a bunch of new products too, so we're gonna kinda go in and out of talking about um, bad dates and new makeup. Ooh. I'm back into this, you guys, the gold primer from Guerlain. It is wonderful. So for those of you that don't know, I am a Valentine's baby, and that always makes my birthday a little bit difficult for me, for whoever I was dating at the time in past relationships. It always felt like on that day, I would always see people showered with affection and flowers and chocolates, and if whoever I was with didn't do that, it was like an extra like stab to my heart of like, well, why not for me? Like, why, why? Like, it's my birthday and Valentine's Day, you know? We're gonna press pause a lot because I have to figure out what shade I am going to wear for foundation. I am going to test out this Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation one more time. I wore it in my 10 under 10 video and it turned yellow. It almost turned like a yellow green. So I'm trying to figure out if there's a better color. Why are these all yellow? I wanna like you. That's how I felt about all my other boyfriends. <laughs> We're gonna go with almond right here and just pray that it works out. Story number one, working in downtown Seattle on my birthday, I took the bus to work every day. I had to wear all black, I had to wear high heels, I wanted to look fabulous and sell makeup and um, I thought that my boyfriend at the time would pick me up from work. You know, sometimes he would surprise me and pick me up so I didn't have to take the bus. And I hoped that he would on this day and he didn't. And I was all depressed because he hadn't even called me. He hadn't wished me happy birthday. He hadn't um, done anything really. Like it was just like zero acknowledgement of my birthday entirely. So I was really bummed out. And one of my girlfriends, Jen, she was like, hey, let's go grab some Mexican food after your shift and we'll just chat. Like, I don't have a Valentine either. And you know, it's cool. Like, we're not gonna let this day get you down. It's your birthday. So we went out and right when we ordered food, a guy calls her and is like, hey, I wanted to surprise you. Like, do you think you can meet me, you know, at so-and-so? And I'm like, just go, like, enjoy it, just go. So I sat there totally defeated and had like a freaking enchilada by myself. And um, then I finally made my way to my bus stop. I jetted out of the restaurant and ran to my bus because I was like, oh my gosh, I mismanaged my time. Like, holy crap, my bus is coming and it only comes every like 35 minutes. So I run out, I'm in my high heels. Of course I didn't have my jacket that day. I'm running, 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 running. And it starts pouring rain. I don't have an umbrella, no jacket. I'm like a drowned rat. And it literally was like a scene from a movie because I run to the edge where my bus would pick me up and I saw my bus like taking off very slowly. And I'm standing there in my high heels, no jacket, no umbrella in the rain. And I'm just watching my ride descend. And I know I'm gonna be standing there for the next 35 minutes in the cold, getting soaking wet. And everything downtown was shut down and um, there was nowhere really for me to run and go pee that I felt safe in. So I felt safer just, you know, standing at the bus stop. So I did that, I'm using the Catrice um, Liquid Camouflage High Coverage. I talked about this in my 10 under 10, by the way, it's so good. Um, so I'm standing there for the next half an hour. I can't get a hold of my boyfriend. I'm pissed off because he hasn't even wished me happy birthday. And I'm just kind of stewing, standing there. The bus finally comes, I hop on, I sit down, and I think I'm gonna make it home. Like I kind of had to pee, but I was like, whatever, it's fine. And then we go over the 520 and there is a car accident. And so we are in like stopped traffic. I am looking over the bridge, like there's nowhere to exit, there's no nothing, stop traffic. I have to pee so bad. I'm also soaking wet and freezing cold and I start panicking and we finally make it off the bridge 
and I call my sister. There are a couple of stops that aren't actual stops. I'm gonna take a little RCMA powder on my palette. Okay, so there are a couple of stops that are just freeway stops that are not even exits. Like it's not like on a main street or anything. It's literally just like off the freeway. And I call my sister and I'm begging her. I'm like, please, I am going to pee my pants in public. Will you please come and pick me up off of one of those stops? She kind of was like, I really wish I could, but I, I can't, I'm so sorry. I really thought my options were pee myself on the bus or hop off the bus and like pee on the side of the road and wait there for another bus to come and take me home. So I was just like so uncomfortable. I've never had to pee so bad in my entire life. I'm not even exaggerating for a minute. So I somehow, somehow held it together. I was like humming and swaying and I'm sure that people thought I was totally crazy. Um, I made it to my stop finally at the park and ride where my car was. But the second I got off of the bus, I saw a Chevron and I just like ran to the Chevron and I begged the guy, I'm like, I need to use the bathroom right now. And he let me use the restroom and I was fine. Like I made it. But then I like just had this just walk back to my car and it was just so sad. So I get home, I'm finally thinking it again now that I don't have to pee in public anymore. I am finally thinking like, where, where is my boyfriend? Like, what is he doing? I get home and he's not even there. He's literally not even there. And I can't get a hold of him. His phone's going to voicemail and he finally comes back. And my birthday present from him was leftover Mexican food from my favorite restaurant because he went out with some friends and thought he would bring me back some leftovers. <sighs> I wish that I broke up with him right then and there, but you guys, when I look back at relationships, when I was really in love or attached to someone, I would give them every chance in the world. And hearing this story, I hope maybe it makes you laugh. I'm like, wow, what a crappy day. Like we've all had crap days. But I also urge you to understand that if you are with someone that does not treat you the way you deserve to be treated and you deserve to be treated well, you deserve respect. And if you're not getting it, leave. Don't waste time. Don't wait for people to change, leave. So that particular relationship, I grew a lot. I learned a lot about myself, but I had so many times where I was just like, wow, how did you leave me so high and dry? Like how horrible. But yeah, I almost uh, peed myself on a, on a public bus on my birthday. I wanna like this foundation, but it is just so weird. Okay, so we need some bronzer. I'm gonna go in with the CYO matte bronzer and just put this on the perimeter of my face. So I guess that first one was not really a bad date. It was just like a bad moment in a relationship. I'll go on to share with you guys. About a month before I met James, I went on many, many bad internet dates. And one of them was with a guy that was very handsome. He was really charming, really nice. Um, and we had the typical kind of coffee date where, you know, you kind of see if the person is what their profile states them to be. Ooh, I haven't even opened this one yet. This is from Milani. This is the Color Harmony in Coral Beams. So this guy, we went to coffee, we liked each other, we decided to go to dinner, and he took me to a really nice sushi restaurant, and I was really excited and dressed up and he told me, you know, dinner's on me and get whatever you want. And I'm like, that you're such a gentleman, like thank you so much. And we had the greatest time ever and everything was great until he drove me home. So he drove me home and looking back, actually I probably should not have been in the car with a stranger so soon. Like why did I let him pick me up on date number two, why? We're gonna go into Physician's Formula and take a little bit of this pearl butter highlighter Guys, these kind of smell weird. I have been wanting to test them out. I almost did a dedicated video on these, but I was like, mm, I don't know if it's enough to do a dedicated video. We shall see. Okay, so this dude brings me home. And mind you, I have to get up at like 5.30. Oh shoot, that is intense, dude. I have to get up at like 5.30 in the morning for work. And it's like 11 o'clock at night. And it's only our second date. And I'm really distracted by how shiny and pretty this highlighter is right now. This is so pretty. I don't know how I feel about it though because it's very, 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 very strong. Wait, what? Dude, these are cream. That is so crazy. Why did I think these were powder? These are creams and no wonder. That actually went on beautifully though. 
what is in my hair and why do I always have stuff in my hair? I'm gonna test out this In Her Prime eye primer. It's a matte eye primer. So this guy brings me home and gets so upset that I am not inviting him up to my apartment. And it was really devastating to me. I was kind of like, well, like I really like this guy. He just took me on a nice date. Um, is this how it goes? Like, I, but it's the second date. I don't feel comfortable with this. And he was really pissed off. He like actually like banged his steering wheel and was like, you're not even gonna invite me up? Well, thanks, you know, I just bought you a nice dinner. It was just making me feel so small in that moment. And it was really upsetting because he was so nice and charismatic and incredible and then immediately so angry and I was just so disappointed because I really wanted to like this guy. So that just kind of blowed. He brought me home and didn't even say a word to me, literally reached over to the passenger side, opened my door, like threw the door open, didn't say anything, wouldn't even look at me, and I just got out. And it was the most confusing date of my life. Oh my God, when you realize that your funny dating stories are actually not funny, and they are genuinely upsetting. So those are the kind of internet dates that I went on right before I met James because as mentioned before, I met James online and one of the first things I said to him was, if you are not cool, if you let me down, I'm done with dating, like I'm done. I'm done with this chaos because I had just about had enough and when we set our plans, I actually called him and I tried to cancel and he was just like not having it. Um, he was really sweet and he's like, I already made reservations. I'm so excited to meet you. And before I could even get a word out, I was like, you seem really nice. Like, okay. And later on, of course, I told him like, hey, did you know that that day that I called you that I was trying to bail on our date? And he's like, oh yeah, I knew that. Um, but thank God I still went for it. So uh, anyway, that other guy, dude, like what? What the hell, Jekyll and Hyde? Okay, so I'm gonna put on my eyebrows, which is boring and I can't talk and do it at the same time. So I will be right back. All right, you guys, my eyebrows are on. I think they look pretty gosh darn good. Let me know what you think. I'm trying out a new product from Beauty Bakery. So let's move on to a little lip product and then we'll chat some more once I get to my eye makeup. All right, for lips, I'm gonna be testing out this Osnap liner from ColourPop. I kind of have an idea to do like a mauve more cool toned look today. At least that's what is in my head. I'm gonna now go in with the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip in Dopey. I think I like this. All right, so we're gonna take another gamble and we're gonna put a gloss on top. This is one of the My Little Pony and ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip Glosses. This is in Ponyland. Ooh, yes, that's pretty. I really like that so much. I mean, I hope it's looking good on camera. It's looking good in real life. Just gonna take a little bit of setting powder just over my lid to make sure everything is nice and smooth. And I'm using this palette right here. I've never used this. This is from Bobbi Brown. This is the Downtown Cool Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna go in with this top shade right here first and pray for the best. I don't really have a plan. We're just going on the fly. I'm gonna take a Morphe Y17 and go into the crease. All right, so the next story is actually um, kind of on a date. It was like an afternoon and we were hanging out and this was a guy I'd been dating offline for maybe like three weeks or so, but he lived in Orange County, which is like 45 minutes away from me. Um, so when we would get together, we'd go out, we'd have lunch, we'd like hang out at his place, go to dinner, um, and then I'd drive back to LA. So we were hanging out and I'm not even joking, you guys. Like I was sitting in the kitchen and he had to use the bathroom. <laughs> I will never forget this. I felt so uncomfortable. I did not know what to do. And I wanna know in the comments if any of you guys have ever been in any type of a similar situation. Because when I get uncomfortable, I laugh, I can't help it. And this guy who's like really handsome, really cute, like we've been dating for like three-ish weeks. It was kind of entering that like, I really like him, like maybe this is gonna go somewhere. And he went to the bathroom and literally was farting so loud that it was like a machine gun. I'm not even joking. Like it literally was just like And I remember being like, what the hell? Like, like he's not even attempting to be discreet. Like I can hear everything happening. And part of me felt bad for him. And part of me was like, 
oh my God, like, do I acknowledge this? Like, does he come out of the bathroom and like, should I say something? Should I not? I don't know what to do. Like, I really like him. I don't want to offend him, but I don't want to be weird and like not say something because obviously he knows that I heard him and it was just so uncomfortable. So he comes out of the bathroom and I'm sitting in the kitchen and I made some kind of really stupid joke, like really like, hey, did you eat something weird this morning? Or like some really lame, just stupid thing came out of my mouth and he was like, no. Why? And at that point I was like, oh my God, like he doesn't, he honestly thinks that I could not hear him blowing it up in the bathroom. And it was just really uncomfortable because I was kind of laughing and he was actually like, why? Like, why, what are you laughing for? And um, that wasn't the reason that we stopped dating, but that was just one of those moments that I remember going home, like calling up my girlfriends, mean like, you will not believe what happened. Like, Mr. Good Looking Charming had explosive diarrhea. <laughs> what would you do? Would you say something? Would you not? I mean, everybody poops, but I don't wanna hear it if I'm newly dating you. This shadow's going on pretty nice. I'm gonna dip into this shade down here and go just a little lower. I'm gonna change up my brush and I'm gonna go in to this chocolate shade right here. Wow, I really need to get my eyebrows done. <laughs> badly. And with an even tinier brush, I'm gonna take that black shade just to kind of see how this blends. All right, well that turned into a complete smoky eye really quickly. I uh, didn't mean for that to happen. So we're now gonna go into this Kat Von D palette um, just because I wanted to use kind of like a white shade and put that all over the lid. So I'm gonna take a MAC 242. Pack this all over the lid. Whoa, that's why. Oh my God. Um, this is me being outside of my comfort zone because this is not normally a look that I would do. Uh, so I'm gonna pop on some liner and I cannot talk and do that. Like I need all, all concentration available. All right, you guys, this look is not going as planned like most of my bad dates. So we're just gonna continue. I'm not a fan of my eye makeup right now. I feel like the colors are kind of off for me. It's just a little bit too harsh, but that was my first time trying out that quad from Bobbi Brown. And then my liner went on too thick, but we've all been there. We've had those days. We continue on, we carry through. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is apply some mascara. I have this new guy from Beauty Bakery. It is a smudge proof, lengthening, volumizing mascara, and I'm excited to try this puppy out. All right, jury's out on this one. It's hard to compete with my $5 Essence mascara just because the price is so good and it really works, but I do wanna see how this wears. It went on okay. I think I like the new brow product of theirs more than the mascara. Okay, what do I wanna do now? Oh, I wanted to line my waterline. I'm gonna take Mushroom from Urban Decay and I'm gonna kinda drag it a little bit outside of the waterline as well. All right, I am popping on these Demure Light House of Lashes. I'm hoping that it kind of opens up my eye a little bit because I just feel like my eye makeup's a little bit heavy. So let's see what happens. Okay, so now that the lashes are on, I added a little bit more of the highlight because I just wanted more oomph. I felt like my skin was looking very flat. I don't think I'm liking this foundation. I just feel like it's not for me. I've tried it a few times now, I'm just like, Something's not right, I don't know, but that's okay. I really just wanted to get ready with you guys and chit chat, try a few new items and um, share some really just weird dating relationship moments. You know what I think I'm gonna do right now actually is this lip color, as much as I like it, I kinda wanna put something else on top that will be a little bit more ooh ah wow. So I'm gonna take Rose Gold from Jouer. Okay, I think that did the trick. I think I'm okay with everything. We're gonna set now with a little Pixie Hydrating Milky Mist. Cleanse my aura of the past. Dang, this highlight though was pretty special, right? I think this was a big success as far as finding this product. All right, so I'm wrapping it up here. I loved hanging out with you guys, getting ready, trying new products. I really enjoy making this style of a video, so if you want more like it, and we can do different topics, you can comment below, let me know what kind of topic you wanna hear about. 
from my YouTube career to pre-YouTube to where I grew up, just anything you guys wanna know, I really want you to connect with me more. I want you to know more about me. I think that's really important. And even if hearing a few awkward relationship moments or dating stories helps you to connect with me and just know the full picture beyond just the makeup, then I love that. So uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with me and I'm wishing you a wonderful day. If you have bad dating stories, you can leave that in the comments below as well because I love reading that stuff. I love hearing about relationships. P.S. Make sure that you know your worth. I can't emphasize that enough. Like actually going back in time and hearing myself talk about these bad moments. I've grown a lot from there and I would never put up with that now. So know your worth and if someone's not treating you right, on to the next. All right, I love you guys so much and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.